City Council heard a litany of complaints about birds, dead rats, even snakes inside this building, but that wasn't the worst. A top city manager says there's mold in the building that's literally making people sick. JPD's Precinct 2 in the old Belk building at the Metro Center Mall will soon be moving to another location. We have uh, employees that are getting sick, and, we, and the thing about it is we know why they're getting sick. Their doctors have told them why they're getting sick, and we're still forced to work out there. This comes after a narrow city council vote Tuesday to terminate its lease following complaints that the building is literally making city workers sick. This summer, the air just started working two weeks ago. Do y'all know we have record, temp record heat temperatures this summer? The, it was 90-something degrees in our offices. Human Resources Director Toya Martin told the council she believes mold in the carpet left many workers with respiratory problems in a building with no ventilation system where the air conditioning hasn't been working. They have a numerous amount of violations. City workers say they also have to dodge potholes and they've encountered birds, pests, including dead rats, even snakes. Then you also have an inadequate fire alarm system. Okay and sprinkler system. City Fire Marshal Percy Evans told the council the building is a fire hazard because there's only one way in and out. They deserve and they should be able to work in a nice environment. We can't negate that at all. The owners of the Belk building, Socrates Garrett and Leroy Walker, came to city council to defend themselves. The ventilation can be taken care of, council. Uh, the mold, I'm, I'm really concerned about the mold only because of the fact that it's really sort of dangerous. Garrett told the council they poured two and a half million dollars in their personal funds into the building over the last few years and they don't have any money to make repairs. The city have been paying their company Retro Metro $42,000 a month in rent. And at this point, none of the dollars, none of the payments that have come from the city have gone to us to assist us with any improvements in the building. Now, Retro Metro's attorney was also at the council meeting telling the council members that the city could possibly face legal action litigation because the city still has about nine years left on that 20-year lease for this building. For now, we're live in South Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.